What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Today, I have a very jam-packed day, so today's gonna be actually a lot of fun. You might be wondering, why am I in this room? What am I doing here? This is my YouTube room. This is actually where I film the bulk of my videos, and today, I'm trying to somewhat complete part of this room. If you can see here, right here, I'm looking to put a barber chair here. Today, later on, I will be going to check out a barber chair, looking to make that purchase, and I gotta complete that space here. Today, I've gotta go to school because I'm slightly behind on hours, so I've gotta go to school. It's initiation day for another class, so I'm gonna be going to school. Afterwards, I'm gonna go look at the barber chair, but we'll talk more about that later. Here at school, as you can see, the new students, they're all there, and breakfast is over here. Now, as I said earlier, I have to make up hours, and I'm sure all of you guys know who went through Barber College, at some point you were probably behind on hours, so, that's what I'm doing here today, making up a few hours. Today is typically, this is a Wednesday, this is typically my day off, so I'm usually at home taking care of stuff there, but later I'll be doing podcasts and stuff. We'll revisit that, but after this, I'm going to ALA to go check out this barber chair. Now, I want an antique for my YouTube room. Now, the thing is, they make these modern antiques, and I'm sure you guys have probably either seen them on some sort of custom uh, designer's website. I thought about actually getting the modern antique, but then I would always think, eh, you know, it's just not the same feel. And the, my thing is with antiques and why I want one and what I'm looking for in one, I want one that's, that's in good shape but not perfect. I don't want one that's fully restored, that looks pristine. I actually like some of the character in antiques where maybe the, Chrome or the polishing's not completely perfect or the por porcelain's completely polished. I like a little bit of character, but I want it to be nice. So I found two that I'm interested in. I can't wait. Oh, speaking of antiques. See, now they have one here at the school in the private suite. If you see this here, not quite sure. Get a good good view of this one. I, I really like I really like this chair. It's too bad. She doesn't want to sell it to me, which, you know, rightfully so. Why would she? It's hers. It's nice. Look, she has the ostrich skin on there. That's fancy. I'd be interested in getting something like this, but I'm not sure if uh, maybe ostrich skin, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'd go with them alligators. No, I'm just joking, but really nice chair. Looking for something similar to this. I like the white porcelain look. Whether it's black leather or what I would prefer black leather with the black with the white look theme. So we'll see. You know, she still has, she has the ostrich skin on the headrest. <laughs> kind of cool actually, if you ask me. So I'm excited to get there. We're gonna have some fun over there and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So I forgot, I actually have to go by the bank and take out some money just in case I do decide to get this chair. So now I'm gonna go ahead to the bank, then we're actually gonna go ahead to the beauty warehouse supply. Let's go. All right, so I left the bank. I'm here at ALA Beauty, it's time to go in. Made a sizable withdrawal. Now let's see if I could actually get me a barber chair to complete my YouTube room. That's what this is all about while I'm here, to try and find me a barber chair. Like I said earlier, they have two that I like, so let's see what they could actually do for me and let's see how far this money can take me. We'll see. Okay, so I've been in this place before. They have tons of good barbering stuff, especially for people that are looking to open up a barber shop or whatever. They have a bunch of cabinets, chairs, launchers, all, all sorts of barber equipment. What's up, buddy? Good. As you can see, it's really nice. Um, mm. Like I said, all sorts of stuff, new and used. So it's pretty cool. They got a bunch of mats here, which I'm probably going to need a mat. As you can see, look, I mean, they have all different types, shapes, sizes. Uh, they're all about the same color, but they have plenty of mats. So um, I need to actually figure out what size mat I need for my place or, or my YouTube room. And then we can go from there. 
kind of like this size mat right here with my foot's on. It's not too big, it's not too small. This, this is the same size. Of course they got the circle ones, these little half moons right here. And then they have the squares, this one here. So I gotta figure out which one I, I'm looking for for my space. Gotta figure that out. I'm actually also thinking about putting a barber pole in that YouTube room. But I gotta think about it. They got one right here. Pretty long, actually. How much is this thing? So 100 bucks for this, it says no lower. So it's a little bit big than what I'm looking for. I'm gonna keep looking. I have a bunch of shampoo bowls and things like that in here. As you can see, they actually sell the cabinets too. So for people that are like looking for cabinets, it's pretty dope. It's like this one is buck 50. This shampoo bowl here is 250, which I'm not looking for any of that. Let's actually get to why I came here, the barber chairs. So I think Jim's out here. I'm gonna talk to him and sort this thing out. But first I really need to sit in it. Uh -huh. Hey Jim. Hey sir. Hey. How you doing? Good. Yeah, anytime. So there's Jim over there. I'm gonna go talk to him about this chair. So, how you doing, Jim? Good. We talked before. Remember, I was in here. I remember you. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. called you and then well before that I was in here. Yeah. I'm gonna try and make a decision today. So you do whatever um, you need to do in here. It's nice and quiet. Look at look at this. This is there's chairs upon chairs in here. This is insane. Like so many chairs. And look, if you look I don't know if you can see on that far wall over there, there's there are more mats over there. So what I'm looking for is on the far side there by that mirror. So let's go over there and check this out. Pit stop. As you can see, they they sell this stuff too. So Actually, how much is this? This one, 300. This little mirror piece here is a buck 50. And of course, you know, 150 for this, 125 for the lower. And have all the, all different types of stuff. But let's find why I'm here. So you see they got some, uh, some Takara Belmonts here. A few different chairs, bunch of nice stuff. This Takara is $2,900. Yahtzee. Nonetheless, it's a nice chair. Not actually what I'm looking for. I will say this, it was really hard. Like I, I saw one on Craigslist popped up. They were selling three or four Takara Belmonts for 900 bucks each. They sold pretty fast to say uh, the least. But what's funny about Craigslist is this, I'll say this about it. And this has been my experience. Here's one thing for you guys that are in the customer service industry or who's trying to sell anything, whether it's on Craigslist, offer up, things of that nature where people will actually contact you. When you actually post things on Craigslist, give a full description of the item and things that are good or bad about the item. Don't just post the item, a brief one sentence description, and then you say, text me only. And then of course, you get upset when someone's actually asking you questions about the item. That's because you did not leave a full description. So that actually happened to me once with one share. I was showing people the text message, and the guy was like, yeah, yeah, just come, you, you can come by. I'm, I'm trying to ask him questions, but little does he know, I'm not trying to drive out to find out if the chair actually fully functions. You can just simply tell me this over the phone. It's been a challenge trying to find a chair. All right, here's another issue that I have with the barber chairs. One, it's really hard to find one that's in really good condition that you can get a, get for a, an actual good price. Okay, so the two chairs that I'm actually interested in, one of them is this. It's a Reliance. It doesn't actually come with this child seat, which is actually kind of cool. They actually have a few of these, actually the old school child booster seats, but this Reliance here, this is one of them. So, interested in this one. Has the porcelain bottom. I'm sure if you guys can see that. Uh, they didn't chrome any of this, yet they brushed it and it has that brush look and I actually kind of like it. It's, it's almost like that 
that uh, smoked gray or gunmetal is actually the word I'm actually looking for. So it actually has that gunmetal look with the with the black vinyl. Not a big fan of vinyl, so I'm actually going to talk to him about maybe changing the upholstery on this one. But I mean, it, it's new. Don't get me wrong, it's new, but. I kind of would like leather or something better. So that's option number one. Option number two, this one here, this Theo and Koch, or Koch, Theo and Koch. Uh, this one's pretty nice. They actually have two of these, if you can see. This one here and then this one here. This is the one I'm actually looking at. Again, just like that Reliance porcelain bottom, although this one does have, it looks like, a crack in the porcelain so slightly makes me a little weary about this one this one's actually partially vinyl part leather so parts of this upholstery is vinyl and leather I do like the overall look of this one I like the black and white look of it if you can if you can see that versus the other one who knows maybe I'll totally go in the opposite direction and get neither of these chairs but let me look at this thing real quick and I'm gonna get back with you guys all right so I'm laying in this chair I got a text message when I put the phone down from a guy at a barber shop I went to go look at his shop and he actually sold the chair that I was looking for so then he was like, I have one in my house and he gave me a price on it, which is a decent price. He sent me a picture of the chair. I'll show you the picture of this chair. There, there's the chair. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, it's a Koken. It's not bad. It doesn't look like it's in horrible condition. You know, if I wanted to re-chrome it, I could, but it's, it, as it sits, it's in decent condition. I don't like that teal look, that emerald green. And I'm not even sure if it comes with a headrest. So it, this one, although it is cheaper than the ones here, he's asking $1,300 for it. I know I'm actually going to have to put more money into this one. So for me, is it worth putting in the extra time and work? Not sure if it fully functions either. So that's always a question. Sometimes, you know, it'll raise and lower. It may not recline or it may recline, but it doesn't lock. What have you. We'll see. But I don't, as of now, I don't think so. But... Out of the two I showed you, which one do you guys think I should get? Leave that in the comments. Okay, I remember I said I love the looks of this chair. It's just the exact type of look that I was going for with the white porcelain, with the black leather. However, and by the way, this is the sticker price of this chair, if you were curious. There are things about that chair that upset me. One, it doesn't lock as far as when you turn the chair, there's nothing to lock it in place. Two, it leans back, however, and it locks, but it, it like it partially locks. It's like if you put any pressure on it, you can actually move it from the recline position. So it like it halfway locked. Now, this one here, as you can see, it's, it's reclined a little bit. I have been playing in this chair. This chair, this is the one that has that the porcelain bottom, white porcelain bottom. With, with the brushed slash gunmetal look. Actually, I really like that look, to be honest with you. It's a Reliance. And to give you an idea of the price on this one, they're pretty much the same. I'm actually slightly leaning towards this chair because it fully functions. I don't want to be in that much money for a chair when I actually have to put more money into it or potentially put more money into it. He also told me that that chair is harder to find parts for versus this one. Looks like that other one will be a contender. So, but he did just get a truck in with a, well, I wouldn't say new, but new to them and new to me chair. So let me look at it. I see what you're saying. So I'm done and I got this chair. As you can see, I got the booster seat for the kids right here and I got the chair. So this one is going home. I also got a mat too as well. Too bad I didn't have anyone help me or or could have helped me deliver this, but I don't mind actually paying for the convenience. I'm one of those people where I'm not cheap when it comes to certain things where I have an understanding of why am I actually paying for convenience. I understand why you pay for convenience. And in this case, that's what I'm doing. I'd rather not lug around a three to 500 pound chair and actually have to inconvenience some of my barber buddies to help me deliver this and also pay for a truck, blah, blah, blah. So I'd rather pay them to deliver it to me at my doorstep and I don't have to do anything. So my barber chair is here. The guys are outside. I got to get everything ready. 
it's gonna go right here. I clear, cleared my space out in my YouTube room, so let me get the, open this door and let's see. And there you have it. That's the chair, so this is gonna be good. Part of my YouTube room is complete. I just gotta put this in place, set everything up, kinda make, do some measurements to see because it is close to the wall, so of course I have to make sure that it doesn't bump the wall, scrape, or anything like that. I'll probably give you guys a full tour whenever I actually have more decorative pieces in this room and is actually more complete. So that's gonna wrap up today's vlog. I appreciate you guys for watching. This was a very fun vlog progress is being made so like i said i'm going to give you guys a tour if you're new to the channel please subscribe if you haven't done so already and also browse the channel i have plenty of great barbering content it has been your man i do a barber signing out i'll holla